and welcome to a brand new synth walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. Um, apologies today if um, I seem a little bit off colour. I've tweaked my back uh, in a very stupid way, washing my hands, yes, something as challenging and technical as that. Um, so I might occasionally wince or, <laughs> or stop for a moment because my back's hurting. I know, pathetic. I mean, don't have any, any strong drugs in the house, so... Um, not that it would be great to be watching me doing a walkthrough off me tits. Oh, maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe I could start up a, a Patreon account. Drunk synth programming with the unfinished. What do you think? Mm, maybe. Anyway, let's get on to what we're here for. And that's the beautiful Repro One. New sound set for Repro One called Substrata. Now, this is a collection of 150 patches um, full of lovely analog -ness, And... Because Repro One is an emulation, and a very fine emulation of that, of the classic Sequential Circuits Pro One synth, um, we're very much looking at the low end here, predominantly in this sound set, lots of basses and bass lines. But because um, beautiful Yuhi have produced this wonderful sequencer um, as part of their emulation, then there's, there's other sequences as well. There's drum loops and general synthy sequency stuff, acid lines, that kind of thing. Um, yes, so, okay, let's just dig into some sounds, and as we go along, I'll sort of tell you a bit more about why Substrata exists. Why? Well, because I want money. No, not because just that. Not just because that, but mostly that. No, because it's great, and I love Repro ones so much. Anyway, first sound, shall we? Go on then. pitch and uh, so obviously repro one is very analog sounding and this is cinematic analog sounds straight to the bass lines only a couple of halves now this particular sound set is dark dynamic bassy gritty And it's very much inspired by a sort of um, upfront cinematic scoring style. In particular, it's um, inspired by the work of composers such as uh, Tyler Bates and Brian Tyler, uh, all the Tylers, uh, Watt Tyler, uh, Tyler Durden Smith. Who's Tyler Durden Smith? Where does I come up with that from? Is that a real person? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it when I finish. Um, yes, but also uh, Lorne Balfe, Junkie XL. So very much the sort of um, synth sounds that normally would be uh, accompanied by thrashy guitars, big, powerful drum breaks. Uh, uh, sort of ostinato strings, big bold brass, that kind of thing. Like I can't remember if I've changed patch there or not. <laughs> Too busy chattering. I do apologise. We'll move on anyway. Uh, but stuff like uh, the Fast and Furious films, John Wick series, that kind of thing. Alita, Battle Angel, Atomic Blonde. Very analog, gritty, warm. What will? And for me, Repro 1 and Repro 5 are the best analog emulations out there. Each patch obviously has something dialed into the mod wheel. This 
just, there's just something about Repro One in, in particular, out of the two, that just it really gets that the subtle harmonics of analog. It really does. It's got quite a lot of low end, isn't it? Um, yeah, there's just. I mean, it's probably why it's a bit of a CPU munch. module takes it down a bit gives it a slight reverse effect like that but this sound set's not just about cinematic stuff actually this is really good for punchy electronica So, you know, the Crystal Method, Prodigy, Hybrid. Orbital, Sasha, that kind of thing. Stuff that's got that real sort of depth to it. Breaksy, Big B. And as well as being quite sort of crunchy and gritty and analog, there's quite a bit of atmospheric stuff in here. Space, basically. And even though you know Reap, uh, the original Pro One is a pretty simple mono synth, you here have added some lovely extra bits and pieces in to give you extra cold control, such as the sequencer, um, which is fairly self-explanatory. But look at that, sixty-four steps, yummy! Uh, there's a tweak section here where you can change the oscillator types and the filter types and stuff, and just make little incremental changes here. And then obviously there's the effects section as here, a wave folder. For some reason, I find the wave folder in Repro sounds nicer than the one in Zebra. I don't know if it's identical or it's coded to be identical or there is some difference, I'm not sure, but good delays, nice um, EQ, particularly the, the resonant EQ, which really gives you some interesting sounds and subtle reverb. And uh, this is quite useful for adding a bit of bite or a bit of gain. Um, yeah. Just genius. And it looks so bloody beautiful as well, doesn't it? It looks absolutely stunning. Have we played this one? No. It's got such a lovely energy about it. Going through the bass lines. Oh, there's a few. Fun, so much fun. Okay, and 
Right, now on to the uh, bases, of which there are also many. Let's go through them nice and fast. And play very badly. And you can get quite a lot going on in the mod wheel, even though there's only these two sort of options here. There's not a bigger matrix for uh, routing stuff. I wish there was actually. Um, it'd be nice to be able to get the LFOs doing a little bit more um, on various things, but um, oh well, can't have everything. much possibly but you can always turn it down a bit lovely sub having a sort of modern analog edge to the sound set, you can also use them if you're doing old school stuff. So if you're trying to add some retro-ness to your, your, your music, moment I've been asked to do some sort of almost drum and bass styles. Well actually we've got drum and bass style project for a drum and bass producer but also some drum and bass style stuff for some film guys and it's quite interesting. Is it a trend? I don't know, I don't know where it's coming from but um, it's there. Right so we've got a handful of leads, not too many.
Nice tail on that. And then we've got a handful of loops. It's like a sort of randomized noise one, this one. It's quite fun to use that in my demo track. Nice little analog loops that add just that touch of movement that you want. Generally sort of either a kicky one or a hi-hatty one basically. Or both in this case. Multitasking. stuff that <laughs> uh, we've got a little bit of uh, pad stuff obviously it's mono synth pad so one note at a time I shall have to do a proper uh, repro 5 sound set at some point to make sure there's some proper pads for you guys Such a lovely amount of frequency and texture and harmonics you can get out of this. It's glorious. Now a few soundscapes. Mostly that kind of dark, sweepy kind of thing. Soundscapes is one of those areas where it'd be quite nice to have a, a slightly more detailed or expansive modular matrix because um, you know you can either choose to have LFO two LFOs doing things. I mean, you can obviously you can control use the LFOs control stuff over here, but sometimes it's a little out there <laughs> what it ends up serving. Um, so a bit more sort of control here would be cool. But you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I just want them to keep making nice synths for me. And then we move on to the sequences. That's my will. So again. There's a little bit of bassiness in this, where it's not really a bass line as such, it's just a sequence that has a bit of a bass end to it. Tonally there's more to it, but you disagree with me, Phil. Uh, what's going on here? He's playing chords. He's playing chords badly. That was a bum note, wasn't it? How am I playing chords on a monosynth? 
Well, you'll just have to buy this sound set and take a look at that patch to find out how to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Very noisy bird outside my window at the moment. Probably sneaking into the sand at some point. Hyper sleep and hyper type. Not a lot of uh, imagination going on here, was there? useful if you're into that whole Berlin school sound, I guess. Those lovely harmonics. And then we've got uh, not very many synth patches. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Things that don't fit into other categories. Now, so that's uh, that's Substrata, um, 150 patches, but, ooh, look, bonus patches. Mm. So we'll get quickly go through these. Basically, the bonus patches exist because, what's over here that I'm pointing at? The, base, <laughs> the bonus patches exist because uh, when I was doing my two demo tracks for Substrata, there were, there were little things I wanted to add to the demo tracks that weren't already in the, the sound set, so I thought, ah, I'll make it for this and then just bung it in as bonus patches and ended up doing 25 bonus patches. Now, not all these ended up in the demo tracks or were even made for the demo tracks. There's a couple in here that are just tweaks of patches that I'd already made. I just thought, oh, what if I did, took it in this slight direction? Uh, but I wanted it to be a separate patch. Uh, just hit the microphone stand. Great. Professional. <laughs> Since this is a slight tweak of uh, the existing hunger patch. And then we've got drums, because um, in my main um, demo for the trader video, um, I was originally thinking of putting in some like splashy, um, big hitting acoustic drums, like would be relevant to this sort of uh, style of soundtrack. But then I thought, what if I try and do it with the analog sounds of Repro? So I thought I'd give it a go, and it came out pretty cool, I thought. And you can listen to the track and judge for yourself, but I thought it was fun. So those patches are in here now. Um, so this is a kick patch. And then we've got a couple of snares. And then there's a key patch. And 
couple of leads. And then a, a loop. Uh, these are the loops I ended up creating for my, my demo track. It's obvious sort of snare loops. Basic hat and kicks. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then a couple of different variations on two of the pa patches, because I changed them for my demo track. And there's some sequences as well. Some more synthy weirdness. It's a brassy harmonic stab kind of thing. Lots of reverb and echo. So there you go, 25 bonus patches for free. I'm not even charging like an extra penny for them. Um so yeah, there you go, yeah, we've whitt whittled through that in less than half an hour, brave stuff. Um, so yeah, Substrata, it's it's good and punchy and dark and gritty and mm. And Repro 1 is just such a great thing. So if you haven't got Repro 1 and you're thinking, oh, I like these sounds, go and get it. Um, it's You wouldn't regret it. I mean, you for Repro, you get two synths as well. You get Repro 1, you get Repro 5. Two synths for the price of one. Um, and it's quality. Bit battery on your CPU. Uh, sometimes you are going to want to bounce stuff to audio, I guess, and uh, and move on. Um, I had, what was it? I had about thirty patches, repro patches in one of my in my first demo track, and yeah, my computer, which is a pretty decent computer, was not having it. <laughs> the, the CPU meter was going. I'm over here. Um, so I had to bounce everything to audio to do it in mixed down, which was um but then I quite often bounce everything to audio for mixed down for my own tracks anyway. Um, so I'm quite used to that method. Because I find once you've written something um in MIDI, putting it into audio and then fiddling with the audio, sometimes chopping it up and rearranging it and stuff, you know. Just brings you something that MIDI can't do. I've hit the microphone stand again. Such a clumsy tit. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've managed to get through this without any recourse for drugs, um, unless you're taking drugs watching it, in which case, I hope it's more interesting that way. I don't know. Probably seems even weirder. Anyway, am I, am I sorry, did I accidentally recommend taking drugs? Where, the, where are we going with this? Anyway, don't do drugs, kids. It's not cool. Right, that's me done. Um, yes, so... Buy it when it comes out on the 26th of June, which is next Friday. Um, it'll be £19.99 plus VAT, usual little price for standard uh, sound sets. Um, yeah, and you get 150, well, technically 175 patches of lovely, warm, analogue, gritty loveliness. You need to find some more um, adjectives, I think. Okay, then. Thanks for watching, and I hope it wasn't too long and weird as I have been struggling through pain through the entire thing. Uh, okay, I'm going for a lie down. Bye!